Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. Thank y'all for joining us on this video today. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a homestead box. We got our new homestead box in. It's been quite, it's been a couple weeks back now, but uh, it's not, not anything just happened. Uh, but I've been sick with the flu and I'm still recovering. I'm not over it. But uh, I can't let this review just keep going on and on. I gotta, I gotta try to get this thing done uh, because this is probably one of the better boxes uh, once again uh, for the homestead. Because if you're on a homestead, the stuff that's in this box is something that you can definitely use. Uh, if you have draft animals, if you have horses, uh, personal care. Uh, all this stuff like this, uh, I'm going to show you home use uh, inside the home. Uh, if you camp, all this kind of stuff, this box can be, the products in this box can be used on all those things. I'm going to, I'm going to explain it to you. It's called leather care. Now, not only is there leather care in here, but there's fabric care. And we're talking about preserving the leather. Uh, I have a brand new pair of boots that I bought um, that is 100% leather because I'm one of these kind, I mean, they are expensive shoes, but I don't want to ruin them. You know, they've been sitting in my closet for quite some time because here it's so wet and muddy and nasty outside a lot of times. I don't want to get that nice pretty leather all messed up, but you know what, since we got this new box in, the Homestead box. I'm going to be able to fix that. So let's take a look and see what's in this box. Now I'm going to open it up. I know you probably can't see it, but you can see the top of the lid as I come open. I'm going to open it up. We're going to talk about some of the things that I see in it here. Uh, one of the first things I'm seeing right here on top is three little brushes. Now these are, if I can get them up here where y'all can see them. I don't know how well y'all can see these three little brushes here. Um, these are some tiny little brushes, but you know what? Each one of them serves a purpose. One of them is a brass brush. Um, it's to, you know, you get your boots and stuff like that. It's places you need to get in there and scrub or in a saddle or something like that's got stuff in it. You need to get in there and scrub around stuff. The brass brush is excellent for cleaning and digging into little places and, um, and getting out the grit and the grime and stuff like that when you're getting ready to to do the preservation of your leather. And then we have what's called a horsehair brush. It's a, uh, it, it looks just like the, the other brush, except it's horsehair. This one here, um, I'm not 100% sure on the horsehair, but I know it's made to buff and, and to, to work the leather out because I use a horsehair brush here. I use horsehair brushes for painting. I use them for lots of different things here. And then we have a, uh, uh, it's called a Tempico cleaning brush here. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, it's very, very stiff. Now this cleaning brush, I'm guessing is gonna be a lot like the brass brush. It's gonna need to be to, to scrub and to rough that leather up and get it where it's really ready and rigid, ready to suck that oil in and take it in there. Uh, or if you've got uh, canvas or anything like that, got some dirt on it and stuff like that, this brush here, I mean, it's really stiff. Uh, so I'm thinking that that's probably going to be a good brush for doing that with. Uh, excellent. Those excellent three little brushes there. And then there's a, I'm looking right here. I don't know if I can't say that I've actually ever seen this with leather work. Um, I'm going to take the tag off of it. It's called a smoothing tool. They had a tag here hanging on it. Yeah, all it is is just a piece of wood been rounded off on the corners and it's kind of got a little sharp edge on the bottom here it's it says it's a smoothing tool uh maybe just scrape the leather and smooth it down with you know uh it feels good scratching on my hand i know that but um i'm sure there's people out there that know a lot more about this than i do uh but this is the first time i've ever seen just a little piece of wood like this it's just a triangle the offset cute triangle that uh, that's used for smoothing 
leather out with and to smooth in your uh when you put your stuff on uh leather you you push it and you push it into the leather you know and and, and force it into it force it in with the round side turn around and take the flat side and kind of scrape it off you know and clean it uh so that's that's one of the other little handy dandy little tools that's in there and uh another thing i like is they sent a set of instructions here for caring for leather they talk, it shows you all the, uh, the ways to handle the leather, how to use the leather salves that's in here, the process and the procedures for using them. Then it talks about, it has saddle soap in here. It talks about how, and which one of these little, uh, which one of these little brushes here to use with that saddle soap and how to use it. Instructions for that, and then you flip it over. It talks about how to polish leather um, how to take these certain brushes here and polish the leather out. Then it's got one on how to, uh, how to waterproof leather with the boot wax that's here. And it tells you the procedure to go through so that when you get through your leather, it's actually waterproof. Now I'm going to be really looking into this waterproofing one here and preserving them with the leather oil because my new shoes, I don't really want to see them all get messed up. So uh, being that it's a brand new pair of shoes, I'm going to probably try to really take care of them. I usually get about a year out of a pair of them shoes, but uh, I would hope that if I could really do a little bit better job of taking care of them, I might actually get a little more than a year out of them. Because, you know, when you pay well over $100 for a pair of shoes uh, that's boots, you, you, you don't want to just... You don't want to just destroy them. You really want them to last and, and to look nice on top of that. So. There's that handy dandy little set of instructions in here that I think that this is worth its weight in gold right here now. Then we have what we got here. This is called leather oil. It's just a little bottle here full of oil made to use on leather. I'm sure I'm sure it goes along with uh, uh, with the uh, instructions there. It tells you how to use it on here on it. It says it's all natural sapphire and vitamin e polishing oil so it's an all natural oil it's not anything on it that's going to you know that shouldn't hurt you which i think is jam up then we have i, I love these little tins you know this little tin here is called uh, i don't know if i can get that up there where you can actually see it if it'll even if it'll even focus on it it might not there we go saddle soap you know it comes in this cute little tin can uh you get through you just put the top back on it. If you got a tack room or something like that, you stick it up on the shelf in the tack room <coughs> and, uh, and use it. And then you got another, they sent us another little tin can here. This one is boot wax. Now this is uh, another one of those things I was telling you about them little brushes was used for. Do the same thing, you take that little brush and dip it in this and just use it on the boot. Or, you know, wax that sucker up really preserve it. It says this thing's made out of beeswax, lanolin, and leather sealant. So that's good. Um, now the, the saddle soap, let's see if it tells here. It says it's all natural beeswax and castle cleaner. So I think that's pretty cool that they use all natural stuff and don't try to use up all these chemicals and stuff like that in things. Now we see here that uh, here's something here. What we got in here? This is called, uh, if I can figure out what this one's called. This is a, oh, this is a, I know what this is. This is a horsehair shoe brush to polish with. You know, you see that, you see them sitting there like that. I don't know if y'all remember back in the shoe shine days, uh, my grandfather was a cobbler. So uh, I'm, I'm a little bit familiar as a small child with. Uh, with a lot of this uh, stuff with leather care because my grandfather was 100% done leather and being a cobbler He rebuilt people's shoes up until they come up with the present-day throwaway shoes um, He stayed done a good business for his whole entire life being a cobbler and uh, I've seen these little brushes being used as they polish and now he actually had the big machines that He put the shoe on and the wheel spun but then he polished people's shoes and things like that, but but I, know, I knew what this was when I seen it. So, yep, good old horsehair polishing brush there. And then we got, it's a box of uh, 
It's called fabric wax, heavy duty fabric wax. Now, it just looks to me like uh, it's just a big old bar of soap looking stuff, but it's wax. And now this here deals with, uh, let me get this closed back up here before I mess around and make a mess. Uh, it's a non-petroleum, non-silicone, 100% natural, non-toxic fabric wax. Now this is to waterproof your fabric with. And um, uh, it's trying to be a little bit of a problem for me here, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll move right along here. Now, all right, we've got uh, fabric dressing. It's a heat activated fabric dressing. It's an all natural waterproof wax also. Let me get that up where we can see that. All natural waterproof wax that comes in a can. Now, this is made for youth. Oh, when I say fabric, I'm going to be talking about uh, like a canvas material. You could probably use this on tents. Uh, if you have shoes that have uh, leather and fabric, canvas fabric on it, you could use this on the fabric part to help preserve it and the other on the leather part of the shoe to help preserve it also. I'm looking in here now, I see something really big here. I see something that just looks like a big old giant green thing, so I'm fixing to look at it. Oh, I know what this is. This here is, some of y'all have these things, this is a log carrier. Now, we'll probably use the fabric stuff on this right here to preserve it so that we don't, uh, I don't have one of these. Me and Wanda was talking, that's, oh wow, isn't that ironic? Wanda and I were talking uh, just the other day about uh, well, we'd like to have one of these because it'd make it so much easier to bring the firewood. You don't have to tote it in our arms coming in the house and then we get in the house, we've got trash all over us and it's fell all over the floor. I can see where that's going to really come in handy right there for the rest of the winter months there. So, uh, the guys, that's, uh, that's the, the gist of the Homestead Box this month. It's got some good stuff in it. So, um, it's going to be a blessing here at Deep South Homestead. This uh, canvas bag here, we'll definitely use that. That's something that, um, yeah. well, I guess let me say what I like about the canvas bag is this right here. Just It's just this right here. You see that? It's that thick. It's a little square thing, you know, can be tucked away somewhere. It's not huge. It's not bulky. It's not like, like right now we got some big old, you know, we have to carry some big old things sitting in there, wood everywhere. And this, you can go get a load of wood. Like when we bring wood from the woodshed up into the box on the front porch up there, we can take this and tote it up there. And uh, I think it'd be a whole lot easier on us to tote it that way than it would to hold it out here in front of us like with our arm like this and it piled up put a strain on our back and our shoulders and uh yeah this this homestead box will definitely be used here um you know and if the economy keeps going the way it's going we we may end up having to uh get some draft animals we've, we're talking about that maybe um in the event that there's not any fuel or anything where we can still do some kind of gardening, whether we use a whether we use a mule or draft horse or whatever, and you got to have harnesses and uh, you know things like that, leather straps and all this stuff. And if if you don't take care of them, leather's just like anything else; it'll rot. And but if it's preserved, uh, I saw some of my grandpa's stuff last fifty and sixty years. And, and never go bad because my grandfather took care of his leather stuff. So guys, that's uh, that's the Homestead Box today. If you do not subscribe to the Homestead Box, i tell you what, I really would because and I know sometimes it might be a little expensive being $99 for the big box, but I think we've got more than our $99 worth of stuff from these boxes. You know, I really believe that these boxes in the long run will save you your money, you know. So go to the Homestead box and look at it, subscribe to it, 
and actually get them sent to your house because I think it's a, uh, I think it's a blessing. I'm glad they came up with them myself because I'll be honest with you, out of the ones we've gotten over the last couple of years, I can't think of but maybe one, one box right now that stays sitting up on a shelf in our house in there, and it's because it's a medical box. It has medical supplies in it, and it's an emergency box. That's the only box we have that's not in use. Most of the stuff from those boxes are being used on a daily basis, if not weekly, because they're just the pruning shears. The I mean, I, I don't care what they're just. They have so many things that's come in them. The files, the the you know, anything. The the uh, the one here. While wow, we got one about sharpening knives and. I was able to take the leather strap and put it on a piece of wood. We use it in the we use it in the skinning room all the time. So the homestead box to me, uh, we've we've used most everything all the time. We got tape measures. We've got all kinds of stuff that, that can be used on the homestead. Uh, we got an axe in one of them, a hatchet, whatever you want to call it, the condor axe. We've got um, big knives, digging tools, all this kind of stuff, and we have used all these things on our homestead nothing really nothing has gone to waste we've not thrown anything away so i would encourage you subscribe to the homestead box and get it i think you'll enjoy it thank y'all from deep south homestead